Hi everyone, it's Paul from This Design That. Today we're going to be putting together the 3D printed version of Edelkron's Flex Tilt Head. So I did a video on this a few days ago talking about this new manufacturing approach that Edelkron are taking in that they will give you some of the parts machined by them and then they will give you the 3D files to print the rest of the parts. Let's just talk about the settings that I used. I used a six wall count and I used a 60% infill. These are really, really durable with these settings. I don't think you need to print at 90 to 100% infill. I think that's a bit overkill for, for what these are, but you can try any settings you want. I think most people that I've seen in the comments are going with around 50 to 60% infill. So here are the parts. It comes in this, in this black case. You get a manual and then here are all the parts in a nice little foam cut packaging. Now, before I start putting this together, I want to talk a little bit about the quality of these parts. And I would be very interested to hear from anyone else who has bought these parts, because honestly, I wasn't very impressed. Some of these parts look like they've been used previously. It looks like B stock. Some of them have scratches on them. The, the quality of the finish isn't really good. I was expecting more from Edelkron. And honestly, if I bought this Flex Tilt Head, the 150 euro version, and the condition of it come as these parts are in, I would have probably sent it back. I, I would have assumed that maybe this was B stock. This is what these look like. And I was expecting a better finish. So I thought it was interesting. I, you know, I started to think about this Autac manufacturing approach and maybe it's a savvy way of Edelkron being able to get rid of the parts that didn't meet the, the quality guidelines for their, you know, for their full products. Maybe the ones that have got a few scratches on it, maybe these can be included in the Autac range. I'd be really interested to know if this is just me, maybe I'm being a little bit too picky. Maybe I was expecting better things from Edelkron, but yeah. Overall, I wasn't really impressed with the quality of the parts. Anyway, let's start putting things together and we'll see how long this takes. Okay, I finished putting it together. It's pretty stiff. I don't get how exactly you can adjust it because it's just a case of uh, loosening the, the bolts. If you loosen it to make it more easier to move, then you just lose any sort of rigidity and it will just collapse. So I can make it, you know, stiff <laughs> in that it will come out like this, but I mean, you can see that you, know, you have to be really, really heavy handed with it. We'll try and loosen this to the point where I don't feel like I'm going to snap something and we'll see if it can actually go into, into the positions that we want it. This one is okay. It kind of feels like the movement is right. This one is really stiff. So I'll just loosen it a little bit. Haven't got like a nice fluid movement like this one. Let's just loosen this up a little bit. That kind of feels like it's now more like what I'm seeing in the promo video and that you can easily move it and then it just kind of magically stays in place. Let's just tweak these a tiny little bit. I can kind of use it like in the, in the film. It's nowhere near stiff enough to, to hold anything I want in position. This is, this is my predicament. I can either tighten everything up so it can hold it in the positions that I want Say I want it like that, for instance, but then I'm gonna to have to use so much force in getting it back into its original position. It just kind of doesn't do the job that it's meant to do. I thought maybe it would have some sort of kind of mechanism to adjust the, uh, to adjust the rigidity of it, like you can with, with a fluid head, in that you can kind of, you know, the fluid head that I'm filming this on, it has a, a knob that I can turn and it will essentially uh, increase or reduce the friction. I'm not too pleased really with this. I think that this was 30 euros, but when you include shipping and taxes, it come out to 50 euros. I failed to see how these parts are 50 euros. And I've really failed to see how this would be 150 euros with these parts in metal. Uh, it seems like an incredibly basic tripod head that, see now I've tightened it, now it doesn't even move. It's so hard to, 
It's pretty annoying. If I just moved that literally 10 degrees of a turn and now it's just much, much looser. So you really don't have that much kind of uh, leeway in playing around with these, these bolts. I would probably advise everyone not to buy this. I don't even think that the Ortac version of this is worth it. And there are plenty of Chinese knockoffs of the original uh, metal version of the, the flex head. And they seem to do just as good of a job. And they are, I think they're probably cheaper than, than this 3D printed version. So yeah, I mean, if you was gonna use this, then I would just suggest to maybe get one of those off Amazon. It's just not really user friendly. It's nice and compact. That's really about it. So this was my first experience of Edelkrone and it wasn't really a good one. I was expecting more, especially from the type of stuff that I've seen from them and also from what I hear from other people. You know, they're always kind of quite highly recommended, but this just seems not really well designed. It doesn't really do its job that well. So let me know your thoughts. If anyone else has bought this and you're kind of having the same issues that I have, I'd love to hear your comments and if you've done anything to fix it. And also let me know if anyone else is having any issues with the quality of the parts. As I said, some of these, they did have some markings on them. I mean, if I was buying this new, I, I would have sent it back because I would have expected the parts to be you know, spotless. But anyway, that is it for today. Remember to like, comment and subscribe and I'll catch you all later.